follower. Don't be scared. Who's looking for a lot of gold today? <laughs> you. Yes. Well, hopefully you will find it. I'm an expert in gold panning, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right. Hey, I'm right away, Jim. I found you some uh, chachacos here. Okay, these look like some proper <laughs> gold diggers in this group. Yeah. I like it. Come on down. Come on down. Take your time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm going to send you straight to that corner. You face the corner. Don't look at anybody. Don't talk to anybody. No, I'm just kidding. This ain't right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have you wrap around. We got ourselves a big group today, don't we? So I'm going to have you come. I know it's a lot of walk, and I promise I'll stop you after you've walked the entire length of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. What a healthy looking group. They've been beating you on those cruise ships. I tell you what, if you put a buffet in front of me right now, I'd probably swan dive into that thing. We don't even have a McDonald's out here. <laughs> All right. This should be good. Boy, howdy, we got some lookers in this group. Are you single, miss? All right, I come with gold. <laughs> oh, boy. I tell you what, I'm older than I look, though. I'm about at least 135 years old. I've been here since Klondike Gold Rush. <laughs> it's the Alaskan cold that keeps your skin fresh. Well, thank you. It's delicate like a flower. <laughs> All right, more good-looking folks. Oh, I love this. Right. Now, sir, I got to say, that backpack definitely matches your eyes. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What a beautiful Skagway day, isn't it? Yes. I yes. tell you what, we've been chasing sunshine for the last two months now. We're glad to finally get some. <laughs> if you get any gold, just bring it back to me. I'll take All right. <laughs> All right, now if you can get the rest of everybody to wrap around on the uh, the upper layers here. Okay. All right. Man, we got a nice, healthy crowd here today. Now, uh, obviously, we are all here for the six-hour-long bird watching seminar. Is that correct? Yeah. No. No. Oh wow! Wait a second. It's the gold panning today, isn't it? So, All right, I think I can do something about that. Hey, do I got the green light to uh, gaslight? I mean, teach these people. <laughs> All right. Well, first off, I suppose you all deserve an introduction. My name is Runaway Jim. Now, lots of people do like to ask me, Runaway Jim, what exactly are you running away from? And I tell them, I ain't running away from nothing. I and what they call a claim jumper. Now, what that means is I run away with, I run away with land, I run away with gold. But ladies and gentlemen, if I do good enough here today, rest assured, I'll run away with your hearts. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, but if not, the gold will suffice. Now, we are obviously gonna learn about some gold panning, but first things first, we gotta talk about some equipment. So, ladies and gentlemen, this right here, this is what we call a gold pan. Ooh, ah, yeah. <laughs> On the inside of it, you can see this beautiful dirt we got right here. Well, this ain't no regular dirt. This is pay dirt. And it's pay dirt because when you have this in your pan, you're looking to get paid. Now outside of the pay dirt, which I should mention does have gold inside it. That's what you're getting paid with. Outside of those two things, we have this fancy device right here. Now this, this is from an era long gone. This, that's right, this is a film canister, that's right. But here in Alaska, we believe in functionality over fashion. That means it don't have to be pretty to work. Just look at me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so for our purposes today, this is going to be our gold poke. That means this is our gold storage receptacle. So you just leave that poke where you know you want to, the poke hole. Now, 
Once we got our equipment squared away, I guess I should mention there will be rags on the underside of those panning tables over there, and you can use those to dry your hands at the end of it. Now, the very first step to finding gold, ladies and gentlemen, is you're going to take your pan of painter, which each and every one of you are going to receive today, and you are going to add some water to it, and you're going to get shaken. Now, I tell you what, folks, this may seem simple, but a lot of people struggle with this right here. You see, this right here, would you say this is shaken? Yes. That's right. Would you say that this is shaken? Yes. Yes. Would you say that this is shaken? Yes. No, this is wobbling. I don't like wobblers. The whole gold was shaken is gold is 19 times heavier than water. Six to nine times heavier than gravel or anything else that's going to be in your pan today. Now what that means is since gold is so heavy, you add water, you start shaking, that gold sinks right down to the bottom. The second step, make sure you tilt your pan forward when you shake. Now this is very special here, the design of this pan. You see, it is designed to set flat, right? Well, that means we got this nice crease around the bottom of the pan. We call that crease our happy valley. You know why it's happy? Because it's rich! <laughs> okay, so that being said, you tilt the pan forward, you look at that happy valley, it is the deepest point in the pan. Now, since it's the deepest point in the pan, that means as you're shaking, the gold is sinking only where it can sink. So it'll sink all the way down there. And now instead of your gold being scattered all willy-nilly over the bottom of the pan, you got it all collected right there where you know where it is. So, you're going to be doing that shaking for about a minute and a half or so, just until you are confident that your gold is exactly where you want it. Now, the next step, this is where things get a little bit hairy, ladies and gentlemen. This is called the dunk. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do it first. I'm going to turn my back to you for just a second, but I swear it's my best side. <laughs> okay, so we got a nice half circle sitting at the front of our pan here, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to tilt forward till all the water drains out. Don't worry, I haven't forgot you. I'll turn around soon enough. And then we're going to bring the pan down into the water and pull it back up without shifting the angle. Now that's important, you want to hold the angle through and through. And that is because the goal here is to allow water to wash into the pan and then wash back out of the pan. And when that water rushes out of the pan, it's gonna pull the bigger rocks and dirt with it. That's how here in Alaska we get our rocks off. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're gonna tilt the pan forward, no water in there. We go down, we come back up, just like that. I got rid of a lot of stones. Now this is where I turn around. You guys see that? Tilting the pan forward, we bring it down, we bring it back up, and just like that, I'm moving dirt out of the pan. Now this is very important because since you were shaking, all of your gold is still nice and secure down there, and with each dunk that you do, you're just taking top layers off, which is very good because it means it's like our gold is tucked right into bed. Okay. We are going to keep on dunking until we got about two to three tablespoons of pay dirt. For the gentlemen in my audience who have never baked a uh, day in their life, that's about the size of a golf ball. <laughs> okay, and once you got your dirt down to that small amount, the next step, oh, well, this is the hardest step. The next step is called the golden swirl. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing this for a long time, teaching people how to find gold. But I tell you what, I've noticed something over time. People really struggle with this, and it wasn't until recently I actually figured out why people were struggling with it. It's because you guys are on those cruise ships, and you don't even notice it, but you're bobbing side to side, nice and gentle the whole time, right? Well, that means when you get to land, you feel like you got to stiffen up because you know, you're used to the bobbing. Well, let me tell you, folks, when you're doing the golden swirl, you can't be stiff. You got to loosen up your whole body. You got to start with the hips. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me see you swirl. Come on, do it. You can swirl. Wow, wow, okay, calm down. Whoa, be still my beating heart. I knew we had some gold diggers in this audience. All right. 
Okay, now that I know for certain that everybody's got the moves, let me show you exactly how it's done. Once again, I will turn around for you, I promise. So what we're going to do, we shake all of our dirt back down to that half circle in the bottom of the pan. From there, we're going to take that pan and we're going to rotate it and tilt it the other way. Now you can see that I got my dirt on the top of the pan and I got my water down on the bottom of the pan. Now this is very important because what we're going to be doing is just gently swirling around the bottom of the pan here. Gently swirling and you'll see that I stop each swirl at the bottom of the pan. Now once I do that enough, you might start to see a little bit of that gold sitting in the top of the pan there. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? I know what you're thinking, ladies and gentlemen. You're thinking, Runaway Jim, did you just get 10% more attractive? Why, yes, I did! <laughs> All right. Now, this is genuine Klondike gold. This comes out the ground at about 19 to 22 carats. 24 karat gold is actually pure gold. You watch that finger, sir. I'm watching you. <laughs> Man after my own heart right there. But this is just about as clean as gold as you can pull out of the ground. And uh, we got it right up here in the north. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you may be looking at this saying, well, that's real nice, Runaway Jim, but uh, what about the gold nuggets? Well, I'll tell you, only one-tenth of 1% one of all gold found in the world is in nugget form. Which means to say that it is an incredibly rare happenstance for you to find a gold nugget. Now that being said, some things happen when you find a gold nugget out in the wild. You might notice that your, your heart races. All of a sudden your, your breathing, it shallows. Your arm begins to go numb. The next thing you know, you're having a heart attack. So ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, I did all of you a favor, and I plucked each and every gold nugget out of those pans myself. <laughs> That's right, you're going to be looking for this flake gold right here. Now, I will actually show you some real gold nuggets, though. Let you see what you can uh, hope to find. All right, what do we got here? If you want a good view of those nuggets. Everybody wants their hands on Runaway Jim's nuggets. <laughs> That's right, this is genuine Klondike gold. That's right, and if you don't close this poke up nice and tight, well, I tell you what, it's going to jump right out of your poke and right out of your lives. So do yourself a favor and listen for the click when you close the poke. Let's listen. Did you guys hear that, maybe? Don't worry, I can reenact it for you. Click! <laughs> I think we heard it that time. Okay, so once your gold is secured in your uh, poke, you're going to slip that bad boy right into your pocket. You're going to cruise right up to the assayer's office, walk in there, follow the golden steps, then go to the assayer's office, and we will weigh your gold, tell you how much it's worth, and then, of course, it's yours to keep. Pretty good deal, right? All right. Okay, I want to run through the steps really, really fast one more time with you, and then we'll get you going. Okay, so, does everybody remember the first step? Add water and shake, that's right. Gold is heavy, it sinks all the way down. Don't forget to tilt your pan forward, that's important as you capture the gold where you want it. Next step, remember we tilt our pan forward until all the water drains out, nice sharp angle, hold that angle, bring it down into the water, pull it back up without changing the angle. That is so important. Don't change the angle. If you end up with water in your pan after you dunk, then you have scooped and not dunked. Now, <laughs> next, well, you're going to rotate the pan, move the water to the bottom, and then you are going to swish the, uh, the water around, and you're going to do that golden swirl, stopping at the bottom, of course, and then revealing that beautiful gold at the top. And then, of course, you simply take that dry finger, press down on it, tap, 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 click! <laughs> and uh, then you take that gold to the sayer's office, and you weigh your riches. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I send you off, I do want to say thank you to all of you for coming out here and joining us. 
we know you got a lot of options as far as tours here in Skagway, but we love that you came out and visited us. We love what we do, and we are absolutely thrilled to have you here. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and uh, I hope that you have a great time doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Come on in. Don't be shy. Thank you. I accept the movie. Oh, okay. I, I'm the movie. Oh, you're the movie. Oh, make me a star, please. Yes, yes. Sheriff. Olha a jail. So we're going to weigh this out and see how much you got here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be 12.49 is what that would be. All right. Now is there a way that you'd like to display? All right. So we've got 0. 0.6 grains. doesn't sound like a lot, but that is a displayer gold in a bezel like this. We have the small ones that are $30, and we have the big one is $35. Mm -hmm. Or and we could put it. Um, 